We're going to bring up your, your next speaker. That's going to be the wonderful, magnificent Chris James. If you talk about how much you hate your fat, your body has been working all this time to keep you alive. I don't think anybody in my circle understands impossible. Talk about showing up and showing out. Y'all in here today, man. Golly, I got to have huge announcements more often. Shoot, that's what's up. I saw y'all in the chat. Let's get this party started off right. Let me know where y'all are uh, viewing from. I want to know where y'all are viewing from. City check, state check, country check. For y'all y'all do y'all who don't know, for y'all da 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 da. For y'all who don't know, I'm in Dallas, Texas. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, been working in the garden this past week, making some progress. Man, if y'all have not started getting tuned in with growing your own food, man, I, I cannot, I cannot stress it enough. You gotta get tuned in with growing your own food. I was talking to my sister a couple, um, it was, it was probably early last year, and um. You know, they're just. I was. I was just telling her, like, yo, this is what I'm doing. You know, I got the garden going. I'm doing this, whatever. And I'm like, man, you should. You should do that. You should get the children involved. Blah blah blah. And she's like, oh well, we don't really have a good backyard. We don't have a lot of sun. I'm like, look, it doesn't matter. You don't need a lot of space. You don't need a lot of like. Just get get yourself some seeds. You know, open up the bell pepper. Or take some. Get a get a watermelon seed or a pineapple something and just start do something you guys have no idea how empowering it is and how important it is we gotta kind of start reliving that man we gotta we gotta look at what our ancestors were doing and get back into that we got uh dc's in the house long beach california we got Ca uh cleveland ohio so for those who don't know cleveland oh i was i'm i'm kind of from ohio kind of kind of spent a lot of my childhood there Geez, y'all are everywhere. Virgin Islands, Michigan. Now, Michigan is where I was born. Yeah, so I was born in Michigan. Uh, more California, Detroit, Honolulu, Cancun, London, England, Toronto. Hey, man, what's going out there? Yo, what's going on in Toronto? You know, with the whole Drake beef. You know, what's your, how y'all feeling out there in Toronto, man? Drake, he kind of got he kind of got that work. Uh, Alabama, San Antonio, Frisco. Okay, Texas is in the building today. Virgin Islands, ATL, Clearwater, Florida. Woo, y'all are in here. Vegas. Yeah, New York. That's what's up. Arlington, Texas. Uh, somebody else from the UK. Flex. Fle I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. <laughs> we'll just say the UK. <laughs> um. I'm feeling it, man. I'm so I'm so excited for y'all to be here with me today. Um, we I'm I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold it over your head. I'm not gonna dangle the announcement over your head. I'm gonna get I'm gonna really get into it. I just want to give people an opportunity to get going. So if y'all could click the like button for me, uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We have a lot of um, exciting things going on right now and and coming up this year. Um, I want to make sure that everybody who is on this live stream is aware. AHA, we have our own platform. It's called AHA Communities, okay? www.ahacommunities.com. I'm really quickly, I'm going to put the link in the chat for you guys. If you're not already a member of AHA Communities, please go head over there and sign up. It's a free, it's a free platform. And I don't do a well enough job of, you know, promoting it. I just don't. Um, but we've got, we've got, you know, over 10, uh, almost, almost, it's either around, it's around 10,000 members over there. I just did an interview with one of the members from AHA Communities who lost, um, it, I guess it depends on how you look at it. From my recollection, I think I remember it, this man, he done lost like 250 pounds, okay? <laughs> Is that, I think depending on how you look at it, it's really more than that. But but I just did the interview like yes yesterday, 
Okay. So that interview is going to be coming out um, this coming week. And he's in AHA communities. And um, he was just talking about how valuable it was for him and his journey to be a part of AHA communities specifically. Because you guys know, we got the Facebook group, but the Facebook group and the way Facebook makes you manage the groups in order to like really interact, it's very different. Okay. But if you guys want to really be tapped in with AHA, man, I highly recommend that you join AHA community. So the link is in the chat. I'll put it in the description too for those who watch this after the fact. But um, yeah, so I'm going to get into the announcement. And then what I want you guys to do is just, I'm going to be here for a little bit, have fun. Let's, let's you know, answer some fasting questions and things of that nature. So uh, as, as a lot of you know, right now we are launching our R72 challenge. OK, so we get questions about our challenges all the time. Um, this individual who who did lost the 250 pounds, he also used our challenges throughout this period. So he was very successful in the challenges. So we've got the R72 challenge coming up. It is a like almost like an introductory challenge. So if you if you are either new to fasting, new to the AHA brand, or if you've fallen off and you and you really don't you know, you're having trouble getting back into the swing of fasting. The the uh, R72 challenge is a great opportunity to get your feet wet and just get back into the swing of things. It's basically a rolling cycle. We're going to be fasting for three days. We're going to eat for one day. We're going to fast for three days. And that's pretty much the the, the program. We're going to teach you preparation. We're going to teach you refeed. We got a lot of stuff in between. And these challenges are extremely popular. Okay. The R72 challenge being the most popular challenge that we host. So typically, you guys always ask, hey, Chris, are you going to be a part of the challenge? Are the coach is going to be a part of the challenge? And I always tell y'all no, or I might do a little bit. And then Steven usually will fast with y'all. Well, this time, I am going to be fasting with you all. And there's a very specific reason why. Typically, I don't fast with you all because I host these challenges all the time. I'd be fasting all the time. So I just don't, you know, I do my fasting on my own time. But as of the past probably six months to a year, I have been introduced to a couple of new products and a couple of new techniques that I've been wanting to test. And I, I just haven't been in a good mind state to sit down and test and document and record. And so I thought, wouldn't it be a cool idea if probably for the first time, honestly, you guys as a community get an opportunity to fast alongside of me. And not only am I just arbitrarily fasting with you, but I'm talking about giving you guys updates throughout the challenge on my experience with the fasting, especially as I'm interacting with these new tools. Now, one of the tools, um, I'm gonna put the link to for the uh, for the challenge, I'm gonna put it in the chat, just in case you, know, you guys want to sign up while I'm talking about this. But one of the products, one of the new products that I'm extremely excited about trying is a product called uh, Sculpt. Now, I've talked to you guys about this before. I actually mentioned it because I did a little pre-testing on this. Um, maybe about three months ago, it was maybe. I don't know. It's been a little while. And I think I told you guys that at one point when I was taking the product, I lost four pounds in a day. It was, it was something like that. Okay. It was like three or four pounds I lost in a day. It blew me out the water. I wasn't I wasn't fasting at that time, um, if I remember correctly. So uh, this this product has been getting rave reviews from the root community. So it's one of the root products. You guys know there's only a couple people we really mess with, root being one of them. And it was out of stock for a long time. Now, I wanted to really talk about this and promote this and stuff like that. But I just I, I didn't think it was the right time because if you guys wanted it, you couldn't even go get it. Right. So it just so happens that in conjunction with the R72, the root finally got sculpted in stock and it's actually available. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be utilizing sculpt along with the R72. I got a couple other things I'm going to be trying as well. And also um, we have a we have an affiliation with a company called Fit Tracker. They got this this scale that does body composition and everything. So. I'm going to be combining these tools and I'm going to be basically laying out what I'm experiencing on the fast for you guys to observe. And also, if you want to, you can make alterations to your fast in real time. The goal here. So with Sculpt, uh, Sculpt is 
it is designed, it is specifically formatted for weight loss. Now, for, for those of you guys who are familiar with the Root Wellness brand, you understand how powerful their products are. You know, y'all know Zero In, one of the fan favorites, it's the Limitless pill, right? Zero In. Then you've got Clean Slate, which is basically, um, it is a, it's an organic chelator, which is incredible. It removes heavy metals from the body as well as other things. Uh, then you've got Restore, which helps to restore the, 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 um, your micro, the, the gut microbiome. I always, that word, I don't know, it always throws me through a loop. So Sculpt is really adding on to that. And it's literally, it's like they designed it for our community because we have a lot of people that are looking to lose 100 pounds, 100, 200 pounds, whatever the case may be. It is an appetite suppressant and it boosts weight loss, among other things. So I'm going to be testing it along with our, our fasting regimen to see what type of boost we get or um, as as like a, a replacement for the AHA appetite suppressant herbs because we still haven't got them in stock. Can we use Sculpt as a replacement, a replacement for the appetite suppressant? Because y'all love the appetite suppressant. And for those who never got an opportunity to use it, you know, we just got we got so many comments. People were buying four or five bags at a time just talking about how how much of an impact it made on their fasting. Because when we think about fasting, like outside of just the mental aspect of it, like you literally just wanting to eat or engage with your friends, because when we engage with our friends, we eat like everything we do in this society, we were eating. Right. So if we just remove that element from it. What is really the difficulty? What's the most difficulty you have with your fasting? It's typically the detox symptoms. And, and the biggest detox symptom for a lot of people are the hunger pangs. I'm hungry, Chris. And it may not be, for those of you who have fasted like longer durations of time, you might not have that same sentiment because you know that over time, you know, the, the detox symptoms, they change. But if you are like, if you're either entry level with fasting or you have difficulty getting past like that first three days or even that first day, what I'm trying to do is figure out what are some tools that you guys can use to help get you over that hurdle so that you could be more successful with fasting. Because we know that if you are able to repetitively fast, consistently fast for three days or more over the period of you know a month or whatever the case may be, you're going to be able to get that healthy rapid weight loss. You're going to be able to get efficient weight loss. Not only are you going to get efficient weight loss, you're also going to get all the other benefits that come with fasting. And in this in this video, the interview we're going to be releasing, we get opportunity to kind of look at that a little bit. But the goal here is if we can get some momentum going, right? There's already this beautiful synergy that you get by joining the R72 challenge. When if you guys have never been in one of the challenges, it's it's hard to really understand it. It's like you got to get in the challenge. You got to participate. And but if you get in the challenge, you participate, you, you feel that synergy. So that is a great motivating factor for a lot of people. When we started getting when we started doing the group coaching with the challenges, we saw people's outcomes explode. We were we were I mean, you know, in our prep week, people are losing anywhere from five to 12 pounds just during the prep week. On average, people are going to be losing anywhere from 25 to 30, 32 pounds, 35 pounds during the challenge, right? It's a it's a 30-day process. If I can get more people over that threshold, that initial threshold, which is, it's really like, it's like the first three days or, or you know, more succinctly, it's like the first week. If we can, if we can find tools that help get you over that threshold, the, the outcomes, it, you just go through the roof. You know what I'm saying? And then you get into a habit. You start becoming a, a consistent and your body starts to adjust. One thing that you guys have to understand about fasting is it does get easier with time, but it's it often will get more difficult than before it gets better. So it's, it's not necessarily a linear progression. What I mean is um, you kind of have to look at it as like a wave, right? So you have this wave, okay? So when you very first start fasting, the discomfort and the, the uh, detox symptoms and everything, they might be up here. And then once you get past, let's say, we'll just say day three, you get into day four, you get into day five, you start to feel this dip. 
right? Where you you almost get to this low where you feel euphoric, right? And and that's also something we talk about in this this interview that's going to be coming out probably like Wednesday or Thursday. Um, you get to reach this this euphoric feeling, but then after that you did you go back up again and you start to feel like this extreme detox. All right, so you have these ups and downs of the fasting journey. Well, what happens is over time, when you're consistent with your fasting, you still have the ups and downs, but instead of them being these big ups and downs, you have more like, they're more like this. The the hills and mountains that you got to climb just become like more like road bumps. So you're still having ups and downs because that's just what it's going to be. It's going to be like that. But you're not having those extreme ups and downs. And the extreme ups and downs is what makes the process difficult. When you're more balanced and you're more in the middle, it's you're just riding a wave. It's like you're riding a river. You know what I'm saying? For those who, you know, in Texas, it's popular to ride the river. You know, it's like, I know wh wherever y'all got rivers, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. You ride the, if you're drinking a beer, you just listening to music, your friends are riding with you, you're just riding the river. Um, versus like rap, um, uh, the, the uh, white water rafting or something. Okay. So hopefully you guys get that. So as I have been, you know, building out the community, building out different tools and things for you all, I've been trying to figure out how can I, how can I help increase your, your outcomes, like get you guys to where you want to go. Cause we have a lot of members that have been with us for years. As a matter of fact, I know I keep referring to this interview, but we literally just did it. And I'm so excited about the interview because I've been waiting for him to come and interview. And y'all been waiting too. Y'all are in the AHA communities. Y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm not going to say no names yet. I'm going to just let y'all wait for it. But y'all have been asking them, yo, you got to come give your testimonial. I mean, the man lost, I, once again, the number, it's like 250 pounds. It's, it's, it's insane. It's insane, right? It's insane. But, um, so, so I'm I'm looking at the data. I'm looking at you know outcomes. I'm looking at what people are experiencing, and I'm like, we have, you probably have like a success rate of like thirty percent, which is good, you know, it's really good. But it's like it's not good enough for me. I don't, I don't, I want, I want, I want fifty plus percent. I want the majority of people to come in and have success. And I know that's probably what people would perceive as unrealistic. I, I I live in that world of unrealistic. I really do. That's why I've been able to accomplish what I've, because it's like, I don't understand ceilings. I don't understand, um, I don't understand roadblocks. I just don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand impossible. So I'm like, I want to get the community to where 50, 50 plus percent of people that go through this process are successful. And so I've been looking at the data and I'm and I'm we're always creating that's how we got to creating the R72 challenge and the group coaching because what I found is with my one-on-one -on -one coaching there wasn't enough of a support system you know and I want it I want it I need you guys to be successful like when you guys do your testimonials and stuff with me it energizes me it 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 does something for me that I can't get anywhere else so I need you guys to be successful it helps motivate me and keep going so I'm like, if we can get you guys past some of these initial hurdles, get you familiar with the process, get you used to some of those detox symptoms, create a support system that is is made up of your peers. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just me, you know, Steve, Shell, Jasmine. It's 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 the it's y'all in the chat, right? It's the chat. The chat is in the challenge, and as you guys can see earlier, you have people from literally all over the world. That join these challenges and and so and what's cool about aha communities is you can actually find people that are close to you locally right so you guys can create small little subset groups so on our eat day when we do the challenge every three days we got to eat day on your eat day you guys can get together and do a potluck right instead of you having to sit there and make all of the food for yourself or whatever the case may be you could get together and you could do little micro fellowships in real life you guys can all bring food together and, and have a fellowship. What that does is it builds a bond and a connection to the process that's much stronger than what you could do on your own. Because now you have a level of accountability to people that you actually know. You've met these people. You guys fellowship together. And I know for some of you guys, this is uncomfortable. Like the idea of that is uncomfortable. But what I'm trying to get you to understand is in order to get those outcomes up over 50%, this is what it takes. So. Some of you guys know that 
Stephen dealt with a lot of um, um, uh, legal problems, right, uh, surrounding alcohol abuse. And that's a big part of his story. And he was able to overcome it completely. OK, so once again, people think once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic. Not true. Not when you understand core problems. What is at the core of the problem, the alcohol abuse? And he was able to do that. And that's part of his story. We put in our programs. It's incredible. Um, but one of the things that I that I learned about through that experience and a, an experience of another family member is AA. See, I always only ever saw AA on like movies and stuff like that. And like, you know what I mean? I really didn't understand it. But when I kind of to a to a small degree immersed myself in that process, AA, I started to understand why AA is so successful, like why they're so successful, why it's able to help so many people. And in my opinion, it boils down to the structure, the consistency, and the community. Like if we can adopt some of those elements, right, and, and apply it to our thing, it's going to be different, right? It's going to be completely different. But if we can, if we can adopt some of the fundamentals, um, uh, create spaces where people can can meet face to face and 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 have a level of accountability and a level of fellowship and a level of consistency that they cannot get on their own, we can greatly boost our outcomes. Not only that, but we're going to give you guys tools, information, and support that are going to make the process easier. It's it's like, and then the cool thing about it is, and this is the part that y'all got to understand about any journey that you're going to go on. As you get further along on that journey, as you make progress on that journey, no, I'm not saying you're going to necessarily make it to the end, uh, end goal quickly. But as you get further along, you act, it gets easier. It gets easier. If you were to ask Steve, what is his relationship with his struggle with alcohol? What is it like today versus day one? It'd be night and day. It'd be night and day. He's what? I don't know, like three years in, four years in at this point. I don't know the exact time frame. At this point, it's almost, it's basically a non-factor, you know? Whereas day one, it was probably one of the biggest struggles that he ever had. So what that shows you is that as you get further along in the journey, things do get easier. That is why consistency is so important. Consistency is not magic, right? There's nothing magical about consistency, but it's about the progress. Consistency creates progress. You're moving forward. You are better than you were last week, last month last year because you're consistent and because you are better you perform at a higher level so the benefit of joining our challenges is being consistent you you know we we do them regularly right we're we're doing them with probably about four times a year at least you know we're still settling into our groove and you know certain challenges are are more popular than others so we're still figuring that stuff out but you know, my goal is to be consistent enough to where you guys, if you want to, if you want to fast us throughout the year, we have cha regular challenges coming. Right. And so through that level of consistency, um, you're, you're getting better. And then the other thing, too, is what you guys have created is called the pack. So you have the the accountability group that the community has created. It's not coach led. It's led by other members of the community. And what I have noticed is that the pack group is able to fill the void that happens. So when we don't have a challenge going on, when you're not interacting with the coaches, whatever the case may be, you guys join the pack and then you you have like a you have accountability throughout the entire process. That's why I really want you guys to join AHA communities because even if you don't join our challenge, if you don't want coaching, if you don't want to join the premium accountability group, there are um, there are member-led, community member-led organizations in AHA communities that you could be a part of and get very similar support. Like the 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 what we have built, and I say we because I look at y'all as six man of the year. Like what we have built as a team, as a family, is is unique. And I know everybody says that about their community, and they're probably right. They're probably right to some degree. You know, there's copycat people out there, but what AHA has built, yes, it is unique, 
but it's also effective. It's effective. We are not we are not into just promoting victimhood. We're not into coddle, coddling. We are not into um, being politically correct. We are here to help you get results. So Sculpt is a product. And once again, I'm testing it. I'm testing it. I know a lot of y'all are probably going to want to you know, be a part of that process. I know a lot of y'all have already started ordering it. You know, cool. I'm okay with that. But understand that we're testing it. You know, but I'm, but for those who are in the challenge, you guys are going to get real time content from me. I'm gonna be showing you guys my weight loss. I'm gonna be showing you. I'm gonna be talking about um, what my experience, how my experience fasting with with these tools is different from my typical fast. Because typically, I just don't. I don't do anything. Like for years, I didn't even do juice. I didn't even do juice fasting for a long time. So you guys are going to get really good. It's almost like behind the scenes footage. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like you, you, y'all, you, you know what it is. You already know what it is. It's going to be exciting. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm excited. I, I like, and then from that, that data, and I really do hope some of you guys decide to join and share your data as well, because one of the reasons, um, for those of you who have been with us for a long time, you know, early on, I was one of, I was, I was probably the only channel that was telling you guys very succinctly how much weight you could lose in what period of time. It's two pounds per day up to two weeks. So if you're fasting for two weeks, water only, you're going to average and lose about two pounds per day. If you extend that from two weeks to three weeks, the average drops to one pound per day. The reason why is because we, we discovered what we call the shrink week, the fasting shrink week. It's where your autophagy goes through the roof. Your body starts tightening and sculpting and all of the stuff that we want to kind of battle loose skin. That happens in spades during week three of your fast. If you're just fasting, you know, straight water. That type of data comes from personal experience and also applying that personal experience to other people's fasting journeys and documenting it. So this is literally how the channel started. So I want to continue that um, that same energy. I want to I want to see if we can improve our process, and I want as many people to join and be a part of it as possible. So now I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about the AHA challenge, so that you know if you've just never done it or you're not familiar, you understand the kind of the benefit outside of just this. Because this is a unique thing. I typically don't do them. But um, you know how, like, y'all know how it is, man. When 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 you have a leader in an organization, just any, whether you're on the battlefield, whether you're talking about the CEO, when the leader is on the battlefield, whatever that battlefield is, it it you rally morale. Like the, the morale of the troops, you know, go through the roof. So I'm I'm doing I'm letting y'all know ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be in there and it's gonna be hype. By the way, uh the challenge starts April, uh, May 26th. Okay, so it's coming up very shortly here. May 26th. Um, what you guys get is we have core content that comes with every challenge. So uh we're gonna give you access to all the content up front. In the past, we've done it like we've kind of dripped it to you. I think that we've decided to just start giving it to you all up front. So if you guys have joined challenges before and you didn't even make it through the whole challenge, you might not have even got all the content. We're going to give you all the content up front. You guys are going to get live coaching sessions with the entire team. So that's me, Steve, Shell, Jasmine, uh, Animated Mel, and Johnny Jupiter, my brother, John, for those who don't know. Uh, he came on a coach as a coach a couple of challenges ago. Um, so you're going to get that. You get the core content. You're going to get a PDF guide. Also, the R72 comes with a quick start guide as well. So if you guys want to join and kind of get the ball rolling, you know, as soon as possible, there's a quick start guide as well. And then we've got the different tools that we recommend. You guys are going to get videos on cooking. You're going to get videos on refeed. You're going to get videos on prep. You also get access to the secret membership area where that's where the community is. That's where the pack is, really. You know what I'm saying? Like the pack is AHA communities, but like the challenge pack is is, is special and unique. Um, and then, of course, you know, you guys are going to get the opportunity to uh, create like accountability posts. 
or or create your own small accountability groups. Like I said, the the platform allows you to find people locally. You can message them. Hey, would you like to get together? You would cook. And that is the magic. That's the secret sauce. That's the piece. So uh, I'm extremely excited, excited about it. <laughs> Shout out to Matthew. Matthew talking about the pack uh, in the chat right now. Um, I'm extremely excited, as you guys could probably tell. And um, somebody, I, I know um, people were talking about like the price of the sculpt and stuff like that. So when sculpt first came out, like when they very first released it, I think it was like $98 or something like that, $79, something like that. It did go up a uh, step substantially. I want you guys to understand the reason why sculpt is, is, is costly is because of the quality of the material and the the uh um formulation of the products okay so it, it's not just it's not just any old combination or formulation or like she she sources extremely high quality products it costs more um but you're getting a you're getting a more pure product which increases the potency that's why her products work so well but if you guys join the root prime subscription you get a massive discount on Sculpt. So I just want you to know that. So if you guys decide to, to add Sculpt to your cart so that you can check this out, uh, I'm going to put the link in the chat. Make sure to order it with the Root Prime subscription. And then you'll get a really nice discount on it. I think it's like $30 off or something like that. So it's just do it. Just save the money. There's no reason for you to pay the full price. Like Just save the money due to, due to Root Prime discount. Um, yeah, so, uh, let me go ahead and hop in this chat and see if we got some questions. If you got, like, if you guys got questions, go ahead and put them in the chat. I know a lot of people joined our five, two fasting blitz that we did in April. And, um, there are a lot of you all who are still doing the five, two. Okay. So the five, two is you fast for five days, you eat for two days. So if you guys want to join and you want to continue to maintain that that protocol, you can do that. Why? Because you're still getting a tremendous amount of benefit from all the other aspects of the challenge we talked about. Like the actual protocol is just people need structure. You know what I'm saying? Some people need structure. So we, we're going to create that structure for you. But if you guys want to do the 5-2 and join the R72, you can. If you guys need to make an amendment to your fasting regimen, meaning, you know, if you want to add juice or if you want to do dry, as long as you understand what you're doing, you can do it. Now, don't get out here and, and not know what you're doing and just be trying stuff. And, you know what I mean? We don't want anybody hurting yourself. But uh, you can ask questions. You can make amendments. Also, Stephen Michael and Jasmine, they always offer uh, discounted consultations specifically for challenge members. So it's a great way to get connected to Stephen Michael or Jasmine if you guys want to talk, have a more one-on-one -on -one conversation, and you can get like a game plan specifically for you. I'm telling you guys, these challenges, the value is, is, is through the roof. By the way, I didn't even tell you the cost. I'm so sorry because I mentioned all of what you get. The cost is $98. It's $98 for registration, all right? So um, see, I did. I saw a couple questions. Uh, I weigh 123 pounds. I'm 5'1". Should I do the uh, R72? So look, here's the interesting thing about this question. I knew this question was going to come, right, eventually. So when uh, two years into my, my personal fasting journey, I... Um, I, I put myself to the, I really tested myself. I fasted. So I was 180 pounds, something like that, maybe like 185 pounds. And I decided to start testing dry fasting. Now, for those of you who have done dry fasting, you know how powerful it is. You know, when it comes to weight loss, you lose about three times more weight loss, uh, about three times more weight than you would with like juice fasting. So dry fasting is very, very powerful. I, I fasted. I did a dry fast for six days. I lost. I lost like 20 pounds in four days. And then I lost another. I don't know. I ended up losing like 35 pounds 
in like six days. It was crazy. Okay, I did a video on it. You guys can look up the video to get the accurate stuff. It's been so long. I don't remember exact numbers. It was just a lot. I lost a lot. And I was what I was what they would consider severely underweight at that time. I maintained my weight, my my underweight status for like almost a year. There was a couple reasons. Number one, I was trying to figure out how do we lose weight and maintain our weight loss? Number two, I wanted to prove that if you were underweight, you could still fast. Because at the time, there was a narrative that said, if you're underweight, you can't fast. That's not true. You can fast. There's a lot of scenarios where people, you there's precaution that you need to take, and you need to make little changes to how you fast, but you can fast. So you are, you are 5'1", you're 123 pounds, you are perfectly fine to fast, okay? You have plenty of extra weight on you to fast. The R72 is actually a more mild fast. Now, are you going to lose as much weight as somebody who is 500 pounds, you know, and, and you know, let's say 5'8 or 5'9, and they were doing the R72? No. If you're 500 pounds and you do the R72, you might lose 45 pounds in a month. If you're 5'1, 123 pounds, you might lose 15 to 20 pounds, maybe, right? So the other thing you guys need to understand is, even though you're 123 pounds, the question is, is all of that weight healthy? I would imagine that if you're here, you, it's probably not all healthy, okay? So what, what I learned from being able to lose so much weight is that you get to strip down to bare bones, figuratively, and you can rebuild on that platform however you want. So it's a great for people who are smaller, it's actually still very beneficial because look, we all want to look aesthetically pleasing, but how you get there matters just as much as the end result. What is the what is the point of looking aesthetically pleasing but you use plastic surgery to do it? And now you have all these other issues because of the plastic surgery or you have all these extra maintenance because of the plastic surgery. So it's not just about the end result. How you get there matters. That's the reason why we promote fasting as the best way to lose weight, especially when we talk about like water fasting, dry fasting, or you know juice, because you're not going to just lose the weight quickly. You're going to lose it in a way that is healthy for the body. You're going to get to utilize the power of autophagy to your advantage. You're going to get to utilize the power of human growth hormone to your advantage. So you're doing it in the quickest manner possible, in the healthiest manner possible. So I would I would definitely recommend it for you. And also, by the way, remember, you're going to lose X amount of weight. Don't forget the fasting spring back. When you fast, so for example, if you have a goal to get down to 145 pounds, right? Let's just say, let's say you're 200 pounds, you want to get to 145. Okay, if you want to get to 145, I'm going to recommend that you go down to 135 or 130 because you're going to gain X amount of weight back once you finish your fasting process and your body normalizes. So if you're if you're 123 and you and you feel like you're getting too small, you're 105 pounds now. Don't worry. When you start when you start eating again, you're going to regain some of that weight. Now the thing that's important is it's how you re-eat, how you refeed. That's what's going to determine whether the gate, the weight is good or bad. So you're going to gain some weight back um, unless you just like like I said, if you start off at, you know, 500 pounds or whatever the case is and you still have more to lose. You if you eat well, you're going to continue to lose. But the body will maintain you at a certain point. You're not going to just waste away. OK, um, when I did my fast, my extreme fast and I got down to 145 pounds, which. I, I don't even talk about it because I, especially at that time, I knew y'all would think I was crazy. I was going to kill myself, but I didn't perfectly fine. Um, but when I, when I got down, my body did stop losing weight. It did stop losing weight eventually. So uh, yeah, you can fast. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Let's see what else we got. I'm excited. I am excited for you guys as well. Just kind of reading these comments. And also, please make sure to invite your friends. Like, let's let's make this a, 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 a you know what I'm saying? Like, invite one friend to do it with you. Somebody that you know that's serious, though. Don't just invite anybody. And y'all know your people. You know when people are and aren't serious. 
invite one of your friends that's serious about it to do it with you so you can have that personal support. Okay. Do you have a code where you can get a discount? No, but I, I guess I already answered this one. If you guys do, if you do uh, Root Prime, you can get a discount. So it's it's it'd be better than a discount code, actually. Okay, shout out to Monica. Thank you, Monica Sylvester. Appreciate you for becoming a member. Will the loose, will the sh uh, skin shrink happen with the Rolling Seventy Two? So. What the what the the sh the shrinking skin thing like this is the biggest thing. Are if I lose a hundred pounds in six months, am I going to have loose skin? Or maybe you do it in ninety days. Am I going to have loose skin? If you lose the weight utilizing fasting, pure water fasting, no, your loose skin is going to be absolutely minimal or zero. Okay. So it's the best way to lose that much weight that quickly. There's nothing that I found that's better. With the R72, you are still getting the benefit of autophagy. As a matter of fact, what you guys don't, some of you probably don't know is the reason I chose the three day, the, the, the R72, is because when you fast, the first 24 hours, like when you look at your body and how the body responds to the fast, the first 24 hours is completely different from the second 24 hours. And that's completely different from the third 24 hours. So when you are consecutively fasting, the body is not just duplicating the same thing every day. You are actually, you're getting deeper into the fast. And as you get deeper into the fast, your body does different things. There's different things that happen on different days of your fast. And as I've te you know, told you guys before, <clears throat> you can't replicate that by just doing three days randomly, meaning you can't fast for a day, take a break, fast for a day, take a break, fast for a day, take a break, and get the same result as you would if you just fasted three days. It doesn't work like that. So autophagy really starts to set in and ramp up on your three-day fast, which is why I chose that, that time frame. The three-day fast is going to give you the maximum benefit for the smallest amount of input, meaning you're going to you're going to get the most benefit for the smallest amount of time that you fast with a 3-day fast. That's why we do the rolling 72. It's it's not arbitrary. It's for a very specific reason. And obviously you'll get more benefit if you fast longer. So if you do the 5 the 52, that 5 days of fasting is going to give you more benefit than the 3 days. And obviously we talked about a 21-day fast, right? Where you get to experience the fasting shrink week. That typically isn't going to happen if you're not fasting for 21 days straight. Now you can see large periods of time where you're going to see something similar to the fasting shrink week, um, especially if you've been fasting like on and off for months. And some of you guys who are like OGs and you've been fat, you got, you know, maybe you had a hundred pounds, 150 pounds to lose and you've been fasting. There's going to be periods of time where you've noticed like, I'm not losing no weight, Chris. Um, and that's the same thing. OK, but, you know, that's th th those are more unique situations. Everybody doesn't have that much weight to lose. So it can happen. You don't necessarily have to fast for 21 days to get the fasting shrink week. Uh, but it just depends. It depends on some other factors. So, yes, you get the benefit of the, the autophagy. Now, the key is make sure that you are eating well on your eat day. That's extremely important. You do not want to throw your eating out the window. And we talk about this in the, in the you know, um, challenge. We're going to talk about what you need to be eating to help maximize those, um, those eat days. How many cycles are we doing for the R72? So I believe it ends up being six cycles. So it's each week when you guys, when you look at it, Let's say we're going to start on Monday. Excuse me. So we're going to start on Monday. So we're going to fast Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. Three days of fasting. You're going to eat. Okay. So that'll be Thursday. You're going to eat. And then um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's, you know, I'm running out of fingers, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then you eat. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's the seven days. Y'all got that? So you, it's, it's, I mean, 
it, I guess it depends on how you look, how you, how you, how you like calculate a cycle, but it's, um, you're going to fast twice a, a week. It's like you're doing twice a week. So I'm, I'm counting as six. It's, it's really like, I guess it's really like, it's six. It's six cycles. It's six cycles. We're not going to confuse ourselves. I'm not going to let y'all confuse me. Six cycles. Will the R72 cause loose skin? Okay, so we already kind of talked about this. No, it's not. The reverse will happen. So I don't want you guys to think that just because you're fasting for 21 days at a time that you're going to cause loose skin. What causes loose skin is cellular dehydration. I've talked about this before. And look, here's the crazy thing about it. I have been talking, I have been saying the same thing since day one. Do you guys understand? Like I've been, what is this? Uh, we're in year seven, I think, of the brand. If you guys go back to my original videos, I've been telling you the same information since day one. I have not changed. While if you look at other people in, in different arenas, whether it's keto or carnivore diet or you know other fasting gurus or whatever you want to call us, you, you see how their message has changed a little bit, tweaked here and there as they learn more and more. I Because of how I research, and this is the reason why I'm so excited for this R72 challenge, because I'm, I'm going to get back to that. I'm getting back to that, that research, the, the experiment, the personal experimentation. It's not a guessing game for me. I just understand how the body works. It's it's easy when you understand how to how to read the body. But cellular dehydration is what's causing the loose skin. Fasting activates autophagy, which helps to recycle mutated and, and um, uh, damaged cells. You know, you got all this extra protein hanging out. The body becomes very efficient. Also, the process of fasting, you're drinking water, you're processing water more efficiently. People don't realize you have to process your water. So when you're eating and you're eating, you know, you're eating potato chips and ice cream and all this other stuff, drinking coffee or whatever the case may be, you know, you're not drinking as much water. You're not focused on drinking as much water. When you're water fasting, all you're focused on is drinking water. So you're getting hydration. Your body has more energy. It converts that water to it converts the H2O to hydration more efficiently. So you're hydrating. Like you're, everything is more efficient. Also, and we talked about this on our live stream um, late last week. If you already have loose skin, this is the best way to get rid of loose skin because they will tell you you cannot get rid of loose skin. And that's not true either. Now, what I will say is if you have loose skin, it is much, it's much more challenging to get rid of it if you already have it versus if you're doing, if you just start, you know, the way we teach. That is, those are two different journeys. And you really need to support yourself with consistency consistency, and dietary strategies is going to be, you have to. You got to give yourself the right nutrients. You've got to clean up your, uh, I, I really recommend cleaning up your liver. Like it's, it's, it's an uphill battle when you already have loose skin. I'm going to just tell y'all. But you can do it though. You don't have to get the surgery. I would, you know, I, I'll probably... I'll probably look at like dry fasting. I'll probably do some 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 cycles of dry fasting with raw food and then some very specific techniques to help bolster the, the uh, liver. You want to make sure that your liver is functioning well. You want to clean up all of the extra crud in your system and your blood. You want to you want to you want to be a well oiled machine and that'll help get you results faster. So. Here we go. Are electrolytes necessary? Necessary to me means do you need it? And no, you don't need to take electrolytes. Are, are electrolytes necessary in general? Yeah, of course. You got to have electrolytes in your system. But one of the, the fallacies is that fasting causes the body to rapidly ex excrete electrolytes. That is the, that's the, the fallacy. That's not true. Your body is extremely efficient. So um, if, if anything, it would be the opposite. The body becomes more efficient when you fast and you, uh, but what it will do, and this is, I think where this comes from is when you fast, it highlights deficiencies you have in your system. So if you already have an electrolyte deficiency that you're just not aware of, it will become highlighted during your fast. 
And so people do correlate the the highlight of that deficiency with fasting. And they say fasting caused this deficiency. No, fasting highlighted the deficiency. Okay. Just because every time you see fires, you see fire trucks, it doesn't mean fire trucks are causing fires. I love that analogy. I, I just think it makes so much sense. If you were looking at it, you were saying, man, every time I see a fire, I see fire trucks. So therefore, fire trucks must be causing fires. No. Fasting highlights deficiencies in the body. And so therefore, you 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 get the opportunity now to address those deficiencies because you're aware of them, but fasting is not causing it. If you take a healthy person that has a balanced system, it's ba they're balanced hormonally, they're balanced chemically, they're balanced you know, minerally, whatever, however you want to put that, their micronutrients, et cetera, they're balanced and they fast, you will not find that fasting causes deficiencies. Um, if you guys want to do something for electrolytes, because I always like to give this because everybody's at a different place. You can either use infused water, which would probably be my number one. That's my number one recommendation. You can get electrolytes from infused water. You take some celery, you take some cucumber, you take some strawberry or whatever you like. You slice it up, you let it cold steep into the water. It will infuse over about four hours and you can get the electrolytes from the water. You can also ionize your water in the sun. We teach this. It's called sun water. You get some distilled water. You put it in a clear glass jar outside in the sun. You allow the sun to energize, ionize the water. You can drink that. If you guys want something super simple, you go and get yourself some Celtic sea salt. Celtic sea salt is a complete salt. You put literally one grain of salt on your tongue, one grain, not a lot, not a one grain. You drink your water. Okay. So if you guys want, if you feel like you need it, that's the way you approach that. Have you tried juice refeed only? And would you recommend juice instead of food during refeed? So there's times when refeeding on juice is recommended. Now, typically, I only tell people, hey, this is what you really need to be doing when you're coming off of a dry fast. That's when I'm going to highly recommend juice, a juice refeed. That doesn't mean that it's wrong to do it any other time. You could do it anytime you want. Juice refeeding is a great way to wake your system, your digestive system up and ease you into eating solid foods. The reason I know this is because we do this in reverse when we do our prep. So when we do our prep, we end our fasting prep with a juice fast that will take you into your fast. Okay. So you're just doing it in reverse. You're ending your fast with juice. Or you're beginning your fast with juice. Either one. They both work well. Um, if you are doing a very long fast, let's say you're doing, you know, like a 30-day fast or something like that, and you're feeling very ill, you're feeling very ill because when you get to those 30-day fasts, if it's one of your first ones, you're getting into those deep crevices of the body that you've never detoxed before, um, juice is a great way to bring yourself out of that. If you're not going to do juice, you got to do juicy fruit. You got to do juicy fruit. You got to do apples. You got to do oranges, you know, grapes, watermelon. You got to do it. <laughs> you just got to. So yeah, juice is a great option. Good question. <laughs> can a person use coconut water during a water fast? Um, yeah, you can use it. We don't teach it not because it's bad or wrong. Um, we we the reason why is because when you give when you give somebody an inch, they take a mile. Okay, so it's it's a slippery slope when when from a standpoint of an educator or coach or whatever. If I tell you, yeah, you can have coconut water, you be like, well, what about herbal tea? Yeah, you can have herbal tea. By the time I done said yeah two or three times, now you're like you're figuring out things on your own what you can have, and they may they may not be acceptable. So we do, we just don't talk about it too much. But yeah, you can use coconut water if you want. So if you want electrolytes, you could use coconut water. That's a great source of coconut um, electrolytes. Uh, I just thought this, this is funny, but not funny. I left my gallon of water outside for the sun and somebody stole it. Who does that? 
Who does that? And I hope that water blessed them. I do. I hope it blessed them. But like, they must have really needed it if they stole your sun water. That's different. Okay. Can the R72 fast be juiced for the three days? Um, so here's the thing. We have a juice fast that we do. So you can do the juice. But what I would like to encourage you to do is use the juice as a supplement, okay? Meaning your goal is going to be to fast with water. If you end up using the juice because things get rough on you, so be it. But this is also part of the reason why I'm testing these herbs. When I when I very first started fasting, I was using the Dr. Sebi Small Cleanse Package. Um, the herbs help to bolster my detox. So we've we've always been okay with using herbs to help bolster the detox. It's only been recently we've been using the herbs as an appetite suppressant, but it's herbs, so it's okay. You know, there's no it, it's not going to affect your ketosis. It's not going to affect um, any of the benefits of fasting. They only bolster, but you can only get these benefits from certain products. You can't just do use any old thing. So. You can use juice, but I would recommend keeping it to a minimal. Um, I would do maybe 12 ounces of juice. If you if you need some juice, 12 ounces, and then you know, uh, but you can you can use it. You could use it if you need to. How much water should I drink a day during a fast? So we have a blanket, a general recommendation of a gallon. I know that a lot of people, a lot of content has come out against recommending a gallon of water a day for people. Once again, my stance still doesn't change. It's been the same since day one. There's a reason I recommend a gallon, and it's because we live in a society where most of us don't drink enough water based on the foods we're eating and our lifestyle. So that's number one, meaning that most people are going to come into the challenge severely dehydrated, not just dehydrated because it's been a couple of days. We're talking severe dehydration. That is what we see the mass majority of the time, 80% of the time, people are severely dehydrated. So what I'm, what I'm, the re, the gallon is number one, getting you used to drinking more water consistently. It is, is giving you the opportunity to rehydrate, hydrate better because when you drink H2O, see people think H2O hydrates you. H2O does not hydrate you. You only, only about 3% of the water you drink hydrates you. Remember earlier I said the body has to convert that water into hydration. So there's an energy expenditure, there's a process, and it, it, and we're, we're sick. So we don't do it very well. We're not doing it efficiently. So the more you drink, it, it really helps you. It's like exponential, you know? Also, here's the caveat. You, we're not telling you to down a gallon of water in an hour. Okay. That's not, no one's saying that. What we're saying is over the course of an entire day, you know, you're, you're going to be awake 12, 16 hours, whatever the case may be over the course of an entire day, your waking hours, you're going to be drinking, sipping water. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not stressing out your kidneys. You're not overburdening your body. It's like, it's like, there's always some study or some information coming out to contradict stuff. Do you need a gallon of water a day? No, you don't need a gallon of water a day. But we're not dealing with people who are healthy and, and optimized. You know, if you were getting your water, if you were getting your hydration through fruit, if you were eating raw fruits and vegetables, if you were drinking fruit juice, then you would need much less liquid. You'd, you'd be getting hydrated much more efficiently. But that's not what we're doing. We're not consistent. And then on top of that, we're eating pizza and Doritos and stuff that's very dehydrating. So you also have to account for the fact that we're not hydrating properly and we're eating dehydrating foods. So I recommend a gallon. It's going to help you learn to be consistent. It's going to get your body used to it. And then with the excess water, because you're going to have a lot of excess water, well, great. During the time when you're detoxing, you need that water. It's going to lubricate the system and it's going to flush the system. So no, in day-to-day -day interaction, you might not need a gallon. But when you are fasting, it's going to benefit you. 
And then, of course, I'll tell you, I'll just keep doing it. Why? Because you're building a habit. So now you're going to get in the habit of drinking water. I take this freaking bottle, this little thing with me everywhere I go. I'm constantly just everywhere I go. If I go from the office downstairs, I take my water. If I'm in the, in the car, I take my water. I developed the habit of having my water with me because I, I was drinking a gallon of water a day. And you want that to be a habit. Permanent weight loss, managing weight loss, disease reversal. These are not things you do for periods of time. They're lifestyle change. So it's there's a mental side of things. It's not just about, well, how much should I drink? Okay, you know, maybe you don't need a gallon, but how do you develop the mindset of drinking the half a gallon of water you need every day? Like, how do you get there? How do you develop that? You know what I'm saying? So it's it's um it's not as it's not as clean cut as it seems. What are your thoughts on having juice immediately before exercise while on a water fast? Will uh, weight loss and autophagy be compromised? No, you're not going to compromise weight loss or autophagy because you drink the juice. Although exercising, depending on the type of exercise you do and the the you know stress you put on your body, you may you may see your weight loss low. Everybody thinks that I'm not going to say everybody. A lot of people think that you can stack. When you, when you lose weight, you could stack therapies and things to help bolster weight loss. Um, fa- um, fasting is really efficient on its own. Trying to like incorporate like the calorie in, calorie out uh, theology to that is not going to help you. It's not going to help you lose weight. So it depends on what your goal is. If your goal is to lose weight, then the going to the gym could detract from that. It could. Um, if your goal is to like, there's a lot of people who are more into fitness and they're toning and they're building st- their strength training and stuff like that. You could use fasting as a tool to help that. Cause it's going to help build with the uh, human growth hormone. Um, and it's going to help you cut, like become more toned. So you could use it like that. When it comes to like bolstering your weight loss, the best way to approach it is through, um, deepening the detox that your your organs and your systems are able to manufacture so caster packs right this is why we that this is why we have to sell the caster packs this is why we recommend caster packs in certain challenges because if you can get your liver functioning more um at a higher level then you'll lose weight more efficiently you know if your kidneys filter better you'll lose weight more efficiently. If your lymphatic system is not clogged, you'll lose weight more efficiently. That's like, it depends on what your goal is. If your goal is to lose weight, focus your energy there. If your goal is to tone up and, and, you know, like work on aesthetics, then you can combine your fasting with exercise and you'll get that result, you know? So that's kind of how I approach that. Can I start on the third? You talking about you talking about on May third? No, the challenge will be closed by the third. I, I don't know when you put the com- this comment in there, so I don't know exactly what you're referring to. I'm assuming the challenge, but uh, the challenge will be closed by then. Do you recommend dry fasting or water fasting first? Someone who has 150 pounds to lose. Um, you know. For safety reasons, I'm gonna recommend I'm gonna recommend water before dry. I would even just I would even like, you know. Okay, so generally speaking, I, I I have I really like juice, water, dry. I like that. So generally speaking, now the thing about it when you're actually bigger and you have a hundred plus pounds to to lose, you guys can actually do more intense fast sooner. It, 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 it's it's going to be less of a detriment to your system to do a more intense fast sooner than someone who is more slim. So if you've got 150 pounds to lose, you can actually start with more intense fast. I still wouldn't start you with dry. If you're new to fasting or, you know, yeah, like if you're new to fasting, if you're not really detoxing, no, like, 
if you're if you wanted to start with dry out the gate and you just not you're not you you just your body's not acclimated to detoxing i'm gonna put you on a minimum of two weeks of prep like before you can start fasting at, at least because the thing about it is if you start fasting too soon you're not prepping if you're just jumping into it it is going to exponentially increase the difficulty of being successful not because the fast won't work but it's like the mental stress and the physical stress on your body you really want to start ahead of time with the detox before you start like intense fasting so i usually have a protocol i put people on when they want to like just hit the ground running and do like dry fasting or whatever um it's going to ultimately make your transition more palatable so that you don't quit but yeah i would do two weeks of detox very intentional detox first and then i do the dry if that's what you want to do or you could start with water first and um i would recommend a prep week and then i would do i would fast for at least three weeks before i started messing with dry and and because you know in that three weeks with the prep you're probably looking at you know 30 40 pounds that you would drop and then um you could start messing with the dry but that that's also once again this is a this is like general information that's also still pretty fast that's also you know uh, okay when water fasting what is the safe amount of water to drink per hour 16 ounces per hour don't drink more than 16 ounces per hour okay I've seen someone on YouTube do a 50 day fast and was, was left with so much loose skin. Show me, show me the person, give me their name or something. Here's the thing. There's, there's an explanation for everything. Now I have watched tens of people lose a hundred pounds with no loose skin, you know, and we're talking from different backgrounds. Um, and I and I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna sit here and say hundreds of people because it's it's not. I'm not saying 10 people, I'm not saying 20 people, I'm just saying like it's not hundreds of people. Most people aren't losing that much weight, honestly. But this is this is part of the reason why this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Because unfortunately, most a lot of the people in the community do have a hundred pounds to lose. So if if a lot of people have a hundred pounds to lose and we're not seeing most people losing that hundred pounds, I'm like, how can we how can we do better here, right? So there's always a story to tell, you know, and the thing about it is sometimes people aren't genuine about their journeys. Oftentimes when people are doing fast, especially 50 days, they're taking something. You know what I mean? You know how many people do do the snake juice with their fast? It's so popular and they might not even think to tell y'all that I'm doing snake juice. What I have seen is snake juice, the, the snake group, they have a lot of loose skin. So I wouldn't be surprised if they were taking an electrolyte supplement or salt or something like that. So I'm not saying that you you're not going to see what I said was what I said was if you follow our protocol, our process, you won't have loose skin. I cannot speak for what other people are doing and teaching. What is your opinion on electrolyte water while fasting for instance essential water? I would say stay as far away from it as humanly possible. It's trash. It's a marketing scam. It's it's it, no <laughs> definitely not drink pure water y'all that's i teach pure look what once again i've been telling y'all to drink pure water since day one i have not changed my tune it's probably not gonna change i'm always open i'm always open i tested um hydrogen water you know what i mean i've tested spring i've tested different waters it's pure water there's i don't know pure water man i don't know what else is it okay? Like if you got to use it one day or something? Yeah, cool. But like I would, my intention would be go get your, get set up for distilled water, sun charge your water and do that. Like, and have that as much as possible. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, okay. Have you seen any improvement for stretch marks? Um, I'm not, I, you know, I've seen, I've seen improvement for smoothing the skin. I don't, I, I don't really get too much feedback about stretch marks. So I can't, I can't really, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even ask people, right? I don't ask, I don't get feedback about stretch marks. It's not a question that comes up much. So it's hard for me to say. What I do know is that I've gotten feedback on people, um, getting rid of like keloids and, and uh, scars and stuff on their skin. So I would imagine that if you can get rid of that, you could probably get rid of a stretch mark. But I cannot specifically speak on that. But I'm sure there's I'm sure there's some things that you could do along with fasting, like, you know, maybe using aloe vera um, or, uh, you know, certain butter, certain essential oils, certain herbs to help with that. But I just I just can't give you an example. That's all. But I, I would not be surprised at all. Castor oil on it um, would probably help smooth it out. Just, you know, every as a routine, maybe once or twice a day, put castor oil on it. Uh, it's just it's just one of the things we've never really highlighted. But I wouldn't. I'm sure you can get rid of stretch marks. Okay, so I have a video for this question. I can't grasp the caster pack. I have a video showing you how to use it. Um, it's simple. I don't... It's super, super simple, okay? So um, I, I feel I don't know if I fully understand your question. I know you're saying you don't grasp the concept. Are you saying you just don't understand how it works? Or are you saying you don't know how to, like, apply it? If you're saying you don't know how to apply it, I'll show you. All right, so here's the caster pack. Okay, it's upside down and inside out. Uh, there you go. Boom, caster pack. The side with the AHA logo, that's the outside. That's the outside, okay? So we're going to put the oil on the inside. You put a tablespoon of the oil on the inside, like in the center of the caster pack. And then depending on what area system organ you want to work with on the body you just pl you place the pack over you're going to place it over like if you want to put it over your liver like this and then you just tie it okay you tie it and you sleep with it it needs to go directly on your skin so that's how you use it the way it works is the castor oil you apply the the oil to the pack the pack sends the oil into the body. Castor oil is a deep penetrating oil. And what it does is it helps to break up sludge, bone, like um, irregular uh, growths, cysts, bones, you know, stuff that shouldn't be there. It breaks it down so that the body can then uh, digest it and move it out of the system. So hopefully that helps. Okay. All right. If you guys need personal consultations, you want to go to, to the website, uh, healthyalternative.org and go to the, go to the uh, work with us section so that you can, you can get a personal www.ahealthyalternative.org and then go to work with us. <sighs> there we go. I lost 100 pounds with fasting and I have new, no loose skin. But she also followed our protocol. Steven lost 200 pounds no loose skin but he followed our protocol jonathan lost 100 pounds no loose skin but he followed our protocol if you if you do a combination of protocols results may vary if you if you let's say you lost weight 
and then you want to start doing ours. You do if you do like traditional weight loss diet and exercise, and then you start ours, you could have loose skin too. If you do our protocol, but you don't, if you if you ignore crucial parts, you might have loose skin. You know, I mean, you know. Okay, it said the still water is for machinery. That's why we should drink spring water. Listen, understand I'm not against spring water. I want to clarify something for you all so you understand where I'm coming from with this. Spring water is not bad. Natural spring water is amazing for you. Now, I want to ask you guys. How many of you all are going to natural springs and collecting natural spring water? Because when you guys talk about drinking spring water, I would imagine that for 99% of you, you're going to Kroger, you're going to Food Line, you're going to Publix, you're going to Walmart, you're going to you know Target, and you're buying a bottle of spring water. That is not the same. That is not spring water. That is bottled water. That is maybe filtered water. That is maybe spring water. That is whatever kind of, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? We, you don't know where that water came from. Um, and also, man, this, this is why I have entire lessons on water. When it comes to water, there is a component that is a, it's more of a physical side. You have the physical contamination that gets in water. Then you have the energetic contamination that gets in water. If you don't understand this, you, you I mean, you're probably not going to understand where I'm coming from with this. The reason I recommend distilled water is because distilled water removes all the physical contamination. Now, if you buy it in a plastic bottle, you're going to recontaminate, right? Because some of the some of the chemicals from the plastic bottle will leach into the water. To rectify this, I tell you all, take it out of the plastic bottle, put it into a glass bottle, a glass jar, a glass jug, a glass container. Then sit that container outside in the sun. Now you will eliminate the, the, the neutralize the contamination in the bottle from the plastic. You will ionize it and the sun will actually erase the energetic contamination. So when you, when you, um, if you, what you need to do is research water memory. Okay. You start, you research water memory and you'll start to understand this concept. Water is a very unique fluid. It doesn't act like any other fluid. You can imprint frequency on water. Um, I don't know how else to say it besides that. You literally can imprint frequency on water. It has a crystalline structure. So when you, if you were to play music to water or speak to water, right, the vibration from the music or from your voice would literally imprint on the water. And then you could, you could flash freeze it and you will see that the water will form different crystals based on what you say to it. So it's not even just arbitrary. It's not like just a frequency randomly, da, da, da. Like it, it changes, the water actually reacts to the frequency it comes in contact with. Now, as we extrapolate and we think about other things water might come in contact with, you think about prescription drugs. So when, when the water goes through our traditional facilities, our treatment plants, it's coming in contact with fecal matter. It's coming in contact with birth control. It's coming in contact with prescription drugs for, you know, um, you know epilepsy and just anything you could think of that would be in the toilet. You can remove the physical contamination, right? To where when you test the water, that stuff's not in there. It usually still is in there. It usually still is. That's why tap water is so bad. But let's just say you were remove the physical contamination. The, the energetic imprint is still on the water. So it could physically be clean, but it's not energetically clean. The sun reformats the water. That's the reason why if you look at the life cycle of water in nature, it rains, hits the mountain, collects minerals, goes in the spring, spins, 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 aerates, 
the animals, the people, they come and drink it. It's energized, it's charged. Anything in it is neutralized. Anything bad is neutralized. It goes in, it hydrates you, it cleans your body out. You pee it out. You pee it in the grass, you pee it on the dirt, you pee it in the sand. The sun heats it up. It goes up into the clouds, into the sky. It cleanses all, it leaves all the contamination, everything behind. It cleanses, it comes back down as fresh water and starts that process all over. We are cutting out half that process. And we're not recycling the water. We're really cutting out the whole process because the water we're drinking now, this tap water is just recirculated billions of times. But so you're not you're not cleansing the water energetically. Now, if you are buying from a water company and they're saying this is spring water from the French Alps and it's glaciers and all this other stuff and it's crate water. OK, maybe or maybe it's just filtered tap water. You don't know. Who's regulating it? Who's making sure that the water that you're getting from this company is the water they say it is? Let's let's not pretend like companies haven't been sued for lying about where they source their water before, right? If I'm a company and I'm making, let's say I'm making $500 million a year on my bottled water, and I'm telling the people that it's from the, the Sage Mountains, oh, it's the Sage Mountains, the glacier ice caps melt and we collect it and it da 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 and I'm selling, I'm making $500 million a year off that. And then and then someone sues me because they find out through third-party testing, it's just filtered tap water, right? Okay, cool. I'll pay the fine. Fine would be like $5, $10 million, whatever the case is. And I'm going to keep lying and I'm going to keep selling that water because I'm making $500 million. It's, it's inconsequential. It's a great business model. I lie to the customers. I make $500 million and I only got to pay out $10 million in fine. That's a great business model. So what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is you don't know where that water was sourced. You weren't there. With distilled water, it's just a process. You know that it's cleansed to a certain degree. Then you guys are going to take it a step further and you're going to really reformat the water so that water can do what it's designed to do in your system. When you drink spring water, that is not real spring water. It's not freshly captured from a spring or whatever the case is, it loses the energy and it loses a lot of the vitality and the benefit of the water. So what you'll end up doing is anything that that water has collected in the way of material, um, imagine water is kind of like a sponge. So you have a sponge that is wet and you're trying to clean a wet countertop with a wet sponge. It's never going to, it's never going to happen, right? You need a dry sponge. Distilled water is like a dry sponge. It will go into your body. It will pull the inorganic material out. And this is another lie that they tell you. They tell you that distilled water leaches vital minerals. The reason why they say that you could use it in machines is because it pulls minerals out of the machine, right? You want to use distilled water in your iron. That'll keep your iron from getting all rusty. And uh, you know what I'm y'all know what I'm talking about when you put tap water in your iron. And you got all that calcium buildup and you put it on your white shirt. Y'all, everybody knows that. We all made that mistake. Distilled water is clean. It doesn't have all that crap in it. So regardless of if you wanted to use distilled water or not, it's like if you just look at the iron, when you put crap water in your iron, you see all of the contamination in there. You use distilled water, it doesn't. you don't see it because it's not there to begin with. So you start with a pure base of water. It goes into your body. It collects the crap out of your body, and then you excrete it. It doesn't leave any crap behind because there was nothing in it to begin with. All it could do is collect new crap. If you're drinking water that's already full of crap, it's going to leave behind. It's like trying to clean the countertop with a wet sponge. Hopefully that works. Helps you. While water fasting. Okay, wait. That wasn't it. Best fasting protocol to shrink fibroids. Fibroids shrink while you fast period. So if, if you want faster results, fast longer. If you want if you want faster results, fast longer. The longer you fast, the more intense, right? The better results. I've had people eliminate fibroids in 21 days. Everyone's body's different. I'm not telling you you're going to eliminate fibroids in 21 days, but you'll shrink your fibroids. You'll shrink them and you will see a difference in your body, your system, your cycles, et cetera, um, in that period of time, right? So my sister, uh, Siobhan, she started using the caster pack on her womb and the cysts started coming out through her skin. 
So this is why I, this is why when when we talk about health and wellness, we talk about our different challenges, we talk about fasting. It's always a culmination of different tools that you use to get certain outcomes because fasting is not a panacea. Fasting is not a cure all. It's not going to fix all your problems, but fasting will aid in virtually every issue that you have. So if you combine fasting with dietary strategy, I mean, your results go through the roof, right? If you, if you, if you combine fasting, dietary strategy, and like a caster pack or some extra therapy, you bolster your results even more. You know, when you, when you could stack, you can stack therapies on top of each other to get deeper results faster. Now, what I will say is when you dry fast, it's a little different. Dry fasting is powerful stuff. <laughs> dry fasting is very, very powerful. The only thing about it is where fasting gets limitations, even with like dry fasting, is how long can you dry fast? Because we work, we work in real world. We're not in a perfect environment. We're not in control environments. We're not in sterile environments. We're real world. We, we, you know, we, um, you could be fasting and you could be rocking and rolling and someone close to you passes and now you kind of spiral, right? Like we have to take into account life, what really happens in real life. So I never like to just be dependent on one thing. You know what I mean? I really like it to be a holistic approach just for the, the purpose of being more efficient. But dry fasting is a beast. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, you can get a lot of work done with dry fasting. Thank you. We got one person that's joining the challenge. Hey, listen, it was worth it. This hour and a half long live stream, it was worth it. One person is joining. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, if I could do a thousand live streams between now and the challenge to get one person every live stream, I would do it. Now, nah, that's a lot. I only ten, what's the math on that? A hundred live streams a day? I got less than 10 days. Maybe not a thousand. Maybe 500. Um, if you guys are going to join the challenge or if you have already joined the challenge, let me know in the chat real quick. I'm just curious to see. And if you if you weren't going to go join the challenge or if you didn't even know about the challenge and this live stream has caused you, encouraged you to join, let me know in the chat. I'm just curious. I'm curious to see how effective this is. Is this an effective way of helping you all? Because the because the challenge is going to help you. Here's the link once again to join the challenge. I'm going to put that in the chat for you. Um, yes, fasting works against cellulite. Fasting works against cellulite. And there's lots of herbs and supplements you could take to help as well. You know, it's really just about what, like, what, what type of, what type of, uh, what type of investment do you want to make monetarily, time-wise? There are certain protocols that you're going to have to come up with. There's certain level of consistency that you have to have. So it's like, what type of investment do you want to be? What timeline do you want? You know, like you guys would be surprised. The human body is capable of really generating instantaneous healing. They call it spontaneous healing. When they were researching the placebo effect, they they documented this spontaneous healing. Okay, so a lot of times we think of the placebo effect as <clears throat> there's a there's a clinical trial. Um, let's say it's for diabetes medication. One group is given the real medication. The other group is given a sugar pill. And then you see how the the, uh, the 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 people that are in the sugar pill, half of the group or whatever, they get results better, if not similar, if not better than the people that are taking the real pill, right? So you're not getting anything. You're getting sugar. You think you're getting medicine and your body's healing. So that's the placebo effect. But it also works for surgery. There have been... <laughs> It's messed up, but there's been times when people have been told that they're getting a surgery and they don't get surgery. They just get an incision with some stitches and they heal from the disease that the surgery was supposed to correct. I'm just telling you guys. So if this is true and this is this is documented, then spontaneous healing is possible. It's really about your belief system. This is why belief is so important. This is why 
no matter what aspect of our reality we speak about, when you have a professional in different aspects of our reality, whether it's relationally, spiritually, financially, or otherwise, they always talk about mindset. They always talk about how powerful the mind is. If you believe something truly, your mind, your body will create that outcome. That's what the placebo effect is. People think they're getting the real medication. So their body just fixes the problem because that's your belief. The reality is nothing else you ever fixes you anyway. The only reason the herbs work is because we believe they'll work. Because you could do the opposite. You could do the opposite. Your belief that something won't work could be so powerful. You could cause something that would be beneficial to not be beneficial. Both things are true. This is an interesting question. Do you think you'll be 6'6 if you were raised on a plant-based diet? Yes, because my height is determined by my genetic makeup. My height. Now, my weight might be different, you know, but your, your height, I think Steven said this, your height is your destiny. Your weight is your, uh, is your, is your free will. You can't determine how tall you're going to be, but you could determine how wide you are. Um, and maybe even still with that, like I, um, I might say that you could, you could probably will yourself to be taller too. I did because my brother, my older brother, he's shorter than me. And I remember when I was a child, I used to say, I, I want to be taller than my brother. I want to be taller. I didn't realize what it was all going to come with. Maybe at this point, just clothes, man. It's so hard to find clothes. I might just be two inches shorter. But um, I'm happy with my height. There we go. Just joined this R72, 70 pounds to lose. I'm going to do my best to stick with AHA protocol and avoid loose skin. While I'm afraid of loose skin, I'm more afraid of diabetes or a stroke or early death, right? Because um, obesity comes with comorbidities. So obesity increases your, your risk of mortality. Diabetes increase, increases your risk of mortality. Being obese increases your risk of getting diabetes, heart disease, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a domino effect. And all of those outcomes are worse, worse, far worse than the loose skin. So did you miss the big announcement? Yes, you did. The big announcement is um, at the beginning, at the very beginning of the live stream. So if you could replay it or uh, you can... Just rewatch it when I'm finished. I'm about to wrap up. What's the best castor oil to use? Hexane free castor oil in a glass bottle organic. Someone already answered that in the chat. Thank you, Diamonds Life. All right. Blush already joined. LB already joined. Uh, missed the beginning. What's the challenge? The R72 fasting challenge, a three day fasting protocol with a one day eating. In between. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay, now here comes all the joins. Join the join the join and we'll join. I'm joining. Da, 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 da. Have joined zero in scope. Okay, you getting it in. You're doing everything. Sheila, I already know you joined. Okay, that's what's up. I'm glad to see that you guys are joining. Um, the challenge is uh, $98. It's $98. It's a 30-day challenge. You get the PDF guide, the quick start guide, the live stream with the coaches. You get discounted consultations. You get the course course material, the main course material. You get the live group. I'm sorry, the secret community. And then, of course, you get the synergy from all your peers. Listen, y'all, I appreciate you. I've been working all day. So um, thank you guys for the questions. Thank you for showing up. This has been an amazing live stream. Once again, please make sure that you join our free community, okay? The uh, challenge starts May 26, y'all. Join our free community, AHA Communities, okay? Um, it is, in my opinion, better than Facebook. I'm not discarding our Facebook group because it's amazing. There's lots of before and after testimonials. It's a great resource 
But if you guys want more intimate connection, you want to stay locked in, make sure that you know what we're doing when we're doing it. You want to be a part of AHA communities because that's we announce everything there. Everything gets announced there. You can see it. You can interact. There's no no one can block us. No one can shadow ban us there. So come join that. Um, 98 bucks for the challenge starts May 26. Um, we're very excited. I will be actively participating in the challenge. I will be documenting my um, success. And uh, I would love for you all to, to join me in that. Let's gather our data together and let's see if we can figure out a more efficient way to do this. There's always a better way. There's always a better way. All right. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Do not get the Sunday scaries. OK, go into the go into Monday. We're going into the work week with a good, positive attitude. Everything that happened last week is in the past. This week, you have an opportunity to do everything better. Be better than you were yesterday. You're only competing against yourself. Making the decision to join the challenge, that is a step in the right direction. But consistency is what's going to help you really flourish. So, as always, the application of knowledge is power. And I'm going to see you guys probably in a couple days. Probably be doing, I got that interview coming out soon. So stay tuned for that.